Hey guys, could you imagine if I came on here and I was like, hey besties. If you're new here, my name is Laura, welcome. Anyways, I just had a cup of coffee, so I'm like really energized. So I was like, why not just whip out the camera? Especially because I wanted to vlog all day today, but I didn't because just wasn't feeling it up till now. So I actually am getting my second dose of the vaccine and um, it's very, very, very dull. I've had a bruise for about what i guess what is it 21 days so however long that is what is that like three weeks two weeks i don't really know <laughs> yeah so i had like a bruise that would not go away so i'm a little scared so i just wanted to take you guys along on my experience of how this is all going also i got the pfizer vaccine not sure if that really makes a difference you have to get two doses and apparently the second one's really bad so I also have to do a presentation for my real job tomorrow. I don't know why I refer to my full-time job as my real job because YouTube is very much a real job to me, so. And I have to be feeling good for that. So I'm hoping that my immune system really comes into action here and helps me out because I don't feel like working from bed tomorrow and I actually can't, so. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pause here and chat about my favorite company. You guys know I love Dossier. I've mentioned them in so many past videos, but I just wanted to update you guys on two new perfumes that I got from them. Guys. This might be the best one yet. I don't know, I said I love the woody sandalwood, which is like the Le Labo, but this one is my new summer scent. I've been wearing it constantly for the past like three weeks now. It's a dupe for Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. It's called Gourmand White Flowers. So someone I actually know used to work in the fragrance department and they asked me, they were like, are you wearing Flower Bomb? And I was like, yeah. It's so interesting to read the notes. So it has like a description right on there of the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes. So for this one in particular, it is musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. So if that just gives you a little bit of an idea. It's so girly, but feminine, but fun and flirty. It's just... Love it. I, I can't get enough of it. So I actually brought the little tester on my trip with me recently. Actually, I have it right here in my little toiletry bag. TSA approved. It has like tampons and stuff in here, but I brought a couple of them. So you guys know that I like actually use this every day. I'm not just like promoting this for no reason. There it is. <laughs> I love this company so much. They're also based in Brooklyn, New York, and you guys know that I always love to support New York City brands, so love that. And next is the Floriental Vanilla. So this is YSL inspired, and the base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. So I guess I really like that whole patchouli vanilla smell, but I just honestly love these for the summer. These are so affordable, so you can constantly be switching out your perfume. Like I know whenever like a new season starts, I'm always the type of person that wants to change up my scent. I highly, highly, highly recommend. If you use my code down below, you can save an additional 30% off. You cannot beat it. You guys need to try it. Just love the packaging. It's simple, it's clean, it's sleek, it's, it's great. Definitely check out Dossier if you haven't already and let's get back to the vlog. You guys are gonna hate me, but I have to return all this stuff to Forever 21 because right before I left for my trip to Austin, I bought this stuff and it didn't come in time and I also just don't like the way any of this looks These are all bike shorts, but I have to be super particular about the bike shorts that I Wear because I'm very short and these were way too long on me and it just it looks horrible So this is all gonna go back because there's actually a forever 21 like kind of near where I'm getting my vaccine So that'll be good. That's where we're at right now while I'm putting my shoes on. I guess I'll chat with you guys So I wish I would have vlogged this morning because I made a green juice and I decided I'm coining the term greens overdose and that's what my new smoothie recipe is gonna be because it literally is a greens overdose I will insert a picture if I have one here it's incredible and it just brings me back to life. It makes me feel so good. So I went on a run this morning and if you're not aware, it's been like in the mid 80s in New York. So it's pretty hot. I went for a run. I was super dehydrated. I just got back from Austin and I think I was still sweating out tequila this morning to be honest. Yeah, it was coming out of my pores. So I just was like, I need this drink and it just detoxes. It feels so good. It tastes amazing. Uh, it's not the sweetest, but it does the job. 
So had that and then I've been making like really yummy salads lately too So I can show you guys that sometime honestly you gotta add cheese to your salad. It just brings it to the next level. I've also learned that recently. I also made a really good Greek yogurt bowl and the strawberries that I bought were like super red and like they taste like candy. That's like the best. That's because they're in season right now, which is amazing. So I'm just putting my shoes on because you know, I gotta walk through Midtown and stuff and I'm not wearing open-toed shoes. New York City is not really an open-toed shoe kind of place. <laughs> Especially if you're doing a lot of walking, it's actually kind of gross. Um, yes, I've actually stepped in someone's spit before. It like flipped up on the top of my flip-flop one. So I don't really like to go open toe anymore. I try to wear sneakers most of the time now just because that's not fun. And you have to always be looking where you're walking because you just never know what kind of mystery thing will be on the ground. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I'm out of breath from putting these jeans on. After this weekend, I'm doing a major, major, major detox because the fact that I'm drinking back-to-back -back weekends is a lot for me. But anyways, if you guys watched one of my last vlogs, I mentioned that Saint Tropez sent me a couple of their items and you know, they really targeted the right girl because I'm their ideal customer. If you guys know, I am a self-tan crazy person. I am basically always self-tanned and I have used Saint Tropez in the past, but I haven't bought it recently just because I've been trying other ones. But I'm super happy that they sent me these because I have to, this is not sponsored by the way. I love this one, it's like a gel. I have it on right now and what I like about this is I showered this morning and I'm just gonna keep this on for the rest of the day. So I feel like a lot of self tans, they almost like stain you and then once it's stained on you, you have to rinse it off. Whereas this one, you could, but I'm not going to. So it definitely is hydrating, that's how it's marketed as. I'm just gonna show you for the sake of the video. It's like a gel and it's so nice. So it comes out like very dark, oh God. But look at how that smooths in. And also it's not streaky at all. And it just rolls on like butter. They really did the right thing by sending me these because now I'm gonna always repurchase this. I am obsessed. And also beforehand, since they sent this to me, I was like, why not try it? So I was in Austin last week and I obviously was out by the pool and stuff and I wanted to stay tanned and it was wearing off by now. And I feel like a lot of times when I'm self tanning, like it gets uh, like build up right in my armpit area right there. I think it's from like exercising and then like sweating right there. So I noticed that it always gets build up there and right here. So I focused on putting this primer and this self tan remover it's like a primer remover all in one and i put it right here and there i exfoliated when i was in the shower and i feel like this really helped to break down that tan and i have never had it like that so this is really great as well they also sent me which i have used i'm not going to use it right now just because i have makeup on but it is the self tan bronzing water for your face. So I love to spray this on when I am like going to bed. Maybe I'll bring this this weekend. I thought about bringing it to like spray on my face when I'm on the beach, but it's a super fine mist. See that? <laughs> Let's not let any go to waste. You can leave this on for three hours and rinse it off, but I'm not gonna do that because I just like to be as dark as possible. And again, just wanna reiterate you guys, I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanted to share. I wanna share good products with you all. You all know that I wanna give all the good information out here. So if I would recommend one thing, try this out. I wanted to show you guys how much of a mess it is over here. I'm living in chaos. So this is like me unpacking from Austin while repacking for another trip. So I'm actually going to Long Beach, Long Island this weekend with a couple girlfriends. We rented an Airbnb and this is a decision that we made like maybe one or two months ago and we're finally going. So it's so weird because you have to like book very far in advance when you wanna stay out east. So we did that. It should be fun. I'm praying the weather's good just so that we can hang out on the beach all day. Wanted to show you my outfit to get my vaccine. So this little top is from Boscov's. Have you guys ever heard of Boscov's? I'm not sure if it's a Northeast thing. Let me know if you guys have them in your area. And then these jeans, I actually wear these a lot. 
these are the Zaffle jeans. I'm always afraid that these buttons are gonna like come off because they're extremely loose so that would not be good my luck they will and then i'm just wearing these zara sneakers we'll keep you guys posted on how we're feeling after the vaccine we'll see hey guys i'm back home we did it we're all good i am feeling fine my arms like a tiny bit sore but nothing crazy i hope it doesn't get worse i hope it's not like the last time the last time was pretty rough with like how tight and how I couldn't even like lift my arm at all but I mean to do that it's like a little painful but nothing crazy I am just cooking dinner right now I also need to drink a liquid IV because I feel like that'll really help with hydrating me I am not sponsored by them but I genuinely like liquid IV the only thing is there is like kind of a lot of sugar in here so sometimes I will do half and yeah, I just, I really love this flavor. The apple pie flavor is really good. And then I just got an email today. They have like a sleep one, which is interesting. So I might have to try that next. Right now I'm just making dinner. I am making chicken sausage and pasta. This, I'll just show you. This is the trash, but this is the sweet Italian style chicken sausage. I've been eating this every day this week because I'm trying not to go grocery shopping because I'm leaving this weekend. And then I'm also using, I'm really into bow ties lately. And it's like the protein pasta, I love this. It tastes like real, you know, the real thing. So that's cooking up. I'm gonna cook this up and also cook some spinach down with it. I actually have to do that first. Lots of spinach, cannot get enough greens lately. So that is that. I'll show you when I'm done. Also, just wanted to mention that the chicken sausages, I love having those on hand at all times. So this week, since I didn't really do a huge grocery shop, I already had them in the freezer, which was really convenient. So then I just thawed them out and kept them in the fridge for the week. So this much spinach is gonna be like three leaves once it cooks down. I have Rao's marinara. You have to do it. I honestly am not as big of a fan of the sensitive marinara because there's no onions and garlic in it. So it kind of needs a little something. So I do put my own garlic salt in there a little, uh, what else did I put anything? Oh, crushed red pepper flakes. So that just really gives it good flavor. And then I put lemon on top, love lemon on top. It's amazing. And then Parmesan cheese, of course. Here is the finished product. I just need to put some cheese on it and the lemon. But I like to just keep the chicken sausage like dry. I don't like it tossed in the sauce for some reason. I'm tossed in the sauce. I just like don't like it mixed with the pasta. I don't know why. And then I just sauteed this spinach with olive oil and garlic, fresh garlic. So here it is. This is the finished product. So good. And then lots of lemon. So now I'm just gonna eat this on the couch. I didn't tell you guys, I sold my coffee table. It sold on Facebook Marketplace. So now I'm just stuck without a coffee table. So when I eat on the couch, I don't have anywhere to set my plate. But I'm not gonna rush into buying a new one. I'm just gonna see what I like and get that because I rushed into getting everything in here as we know. So, I'm gonna watch YouTube now. Let me know of any vloggers that you like to watch. I'm honestly thinking of canceling my Netflix subscription because I just don't watch it. I am I just can't get into shows and I genuinely like to watch vloggers. Uh, some of the people that I watch are Brooke Michio, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Kenzie Piper and Maggie McDonald. Those are like my three in rotation constantly. I also watch Diana. But yeah, I would love to hear who you guys like to watch. Oh, I also watch Kelly's Life, Kelly Loves Beauty. I've watched her for years, I love her. Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in and let you know how I'm feeling today. So it's about 2 p.m. and I feel a little out of it. I don't feel like sick. I don't know. I kind of have been getting like very hot, but I also had to do a presentation for my work today. So I don't know if like it was the nerves. 
I don't know why I get so nervous when I have to present in front of people because I took public speaking classes when I was in high school and stuff and I used to public speak when I was in high school like at certain events and everything. I also think like about my YouTube channel. I'm like I'm putting myself out there basically for the world but I also have like 4,000 subscribers so I don't know why I get so nervous but anyways my arm is super sore today so this is day one after and I really really hope that it doesn't hurt tomorrow because I actually have to travel because like I said earlier I'm going to Long Beach Long Island I keep wanting to say like LBI like Long Beach Island New Jersey but it's Long Beach Long Island Thankfully, it's only an hour on the train, but I'm not looking forward to having to lug a suitcase on the train to get to the train. So I cannot move my arm up. Like, that's as far as it can go. It's really sore. But in terms of feeling, like, sick, I, I'm i fine. Like, I had a piece of toast today and not feeling too bad. I'm just, like, tired. Like, I woke up feeling exhausted and I also didn't sleep that well last night, but whatever. And yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I feel very anxious today and I don't know why. I'm just trying to drink a ton of water. Guys, I bought a new lamp. Look how cute it is. Uh, so now I just need to get a coffee table. And I think I'm gonna end up selling this rug just because I don't really think it goes with the vibe of this. I'm trying to go for more boho vibes, but I think it looks really cute. It's like definitely a statement piece for obviously how small my apartment is. I think I'm gonna get some cute throw pillows and a throw blanket. Just make it super cozy and that's that that's a little apartment update okay guys this is another healthy easy meal when i barely have any food in my apartment so this is again just the same bow tie pasta that i had some sauteed spinach in olive oil and fresh garlic and then some extra drizzle of olive oil on top and lots of lemon and of course crushed red pepper i'll also top it with cheese but it's not as pretty when I do that so this is dinner it's so good it's so light and it's really yummy I love eating this like when I'm just not feeling the red sauce hey guys so I am back home it is Monday it has been such a long weekend but so so much fun I just wanted to say that I didn't really vlog when we were away so first of all the weather wasn't great at all for especially for being at the beach I'll try to insert pictures but I had like a towel over my head a denim jacket on and like a towel over my legs it was freezing and also I just didn't want to take out my camera when we were out and about and I was with people that aren't really aware of my youtube channel and i just didn't want to be annoying and like always like be vlogging every moment and everything i did start to in the beginning but then i was just like you know what the airbnb like wasn't anything special like we were in a guest house of some place and it was really dark in there so i was just like there's no really point of me vlogging any of this i'm gonna play some clips that i have i don't know i'm like still going through the footage right now of everything that i have from this whole weekend but Whew. I also want to mention like obviously I edited that Austin vlog down to 20 minutes but no lie I vlogged like the entire trip and that's why I'm so grateful like my boyfriend's really understanding of vlogging and he's like always super patient about things he'll always like vlog anything for me or like take pictures of me or anything I don't know there was four girls and it's just like a lot so I don't know I just didn't want to be annoying but yeah if you made it this far Thanks for watching and I'll play the clips for you if you feel like watching them. If not, don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you in my next video. Also just want to say that I'm sorry for how sporadic and confusing this vlog is. Now that I don't have any plans of traveling or anything, I'm not like living in chaos and like things are finally getting back to normal in my life. So I'm just excited to get back on track and everything. So I promise like all my upcoming vlogs will make more sense. But for now, I just wanted to edit this and get it up so that I can post something. <laughs> We're in Long Beach, Long Island. Say hello. Hi. Also want to mention it was so easy getting here. It was only like a 50 minute train ride. So definitely trying to get back in this Airbnb. We're like in this literally like a guest house. It's like not cute, but it doesn't matter because we're just staying here to like get ready and sleep. And then we're going to go to the beach tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's okay, but so cheap. It's like a good weekend thing just to be with our girlfriends.